tripod, tripod to stop bouncing around? <laughs> it's at a point where it's not exactly stable. But anyways, it is uh, 9, 9 o'clock in the morning. And this, I think it's Friday, August 7th. And we're starting our vlog again a little late. Things are shifting again. Uh, why things shift, I don't necessarily know why, but they do. Uh, and this is sort of the consequence of a 24-hour day. Is, that, is that Sometimes you never know when th what, what things are going to come your way. In this case, I was waiting for a game to start playing. Uh, but the servers have been down for since uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. And they were supposed to be back up at 8, but they're not back up again. They're not projecting... They're projecting that the servers won't be back up again for gaming till about 10 o'clock. So I probably won't come back to the gaming uh, aspect of things till about uh, noon. That gives me about another three hours worth of sleep. Now this is how it goes sometimes. If you're expecting something, you sleep for one or two hours or maybe the most three hours. And you go back and you check things. And I have the same thing here with my observation of uh, the thermodynamics of the Earth. Uh, um, I have a, th a thermodynamic observation uh, 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 available. Uh, you come back, you check it every couple hours. There, these in terms of the solar solar radiation, solar observations. Um, uh, that's checked every two days. Every two days, I have to check it. Uh, I, I take I take a couple images. And then on to the next thing. And this is how it works. It's not fast-paced. It's going to take me at least another couple of years to get enough information, enough data, to say definitively where things are going and how things interact. You have to see patterns again and again repeatedly. And what happens is the patterns that you see in the summer are not the same patterns you see in the fall and not seeing the patterns that you see in the winter. In other words, you have to have a consecutive collection of, uh, of uh, patterns throughout the year, throughout the one, one cycle, which is the one, one solar year, in order to make a determination of anything. So if you need three or four or even longer, even, let's say up to 10 years worth of data to make your predictions, or it's sort of like you're under, develop a better understanding because again you're not predicting your prediction is more in the lines that you are looking at pattern patterns that repeat themselves on a regular regular routine basis so you can say okay generally this is going to occur again every so many years but how well, when you get down to it the specifics of exactly what's going to happen there is no prediction because it's going to change even over 10 years every year is going to be slightly different. It's not going to be exactly the same. You will have some pattern uh, 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 generalities that will be the same, but the specifics will, uh, in terms of going getting down to minute structures won't be. And it's, it, it, what you're trying to do, particularly with thermodynamics, and understanding the thermodynamics, you want to look for the mechanisms of thermodynamics. Is is uh, is the thermodynamics that you're seeing understandable? Uh, in, in other words, uh, one of the simple principles of thermodynamics: as pressure rises, so does temperature. So when you look at a region, you look at the temperature rising. Is the pressure rising as well? If you can see a rise in the pressure and a rise in the temperature, you now have a, a confirmation of thermodynamic ther thermodynamic mechanism. In other words, you're seeing the mechanism for why something's heating as opposed to, as opposed to cooling. Let's say something is supposed to be cooling. But what you see is you see two streams of, of, of moisture, of water vapor, heading towards each other. They're going to collide. At the point of collision, the pressure is going to go up and so is the temperature. Is this what you see in the collision of these particular systems? Now, typically, you're supposed to see... Uh, Thermodynamics in, in the atmosphere, which is which are, which is basically a gas, as fluid in thermodynamics, and more particularly fluid because things flow. It behaves like a gas or it behaves like a liquid. 
and this is a, a fluid or a flowing dynamics. That's the mechanism you're looking at. But typically, if you ask the question, okay, if this is the case, you look at a cloud and ask yourself the question, if a cloud is a gas, what's containing the gas? What's containing the cloud? And then you begin to understand that there's something more there going on in terms of the physics, because the, 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 that gas, that cloud, is not behaving as it would call a standard or classical gas uh, which we find in a laboratory where you find controlled conditions. This is in an uncontrolled condition. And all of a sudden now, you look up at the sky, you look at the clouds, you're watching your clouds, and the clouds hold their shape. The question is, why? Why does this gas hold its shape? What's containing it? And this is where you, you, you begin to realize, no matter how much mathematics you have, the answers aren't necessarily there. And this is where these anomalies are the things you're typically after uh, when you're doing your research. And this is what puts you back in middle school all over again because you don't necessarily know the answer. You have some idea, and you, and you cannot stand up there and give an, an, an amazing lecture on this because there's not much that's known. And the thing is, if you did put out the mechanism, a large chunk of it would be classified. You know, you, you, couldn't public, you couldn't publish it to the world. And this is what puts you back in middle school again. This is what, what it makes, makes, means to be an infinite tween, is that you're now stepping into a zone where you have infinite knowledge. And it cannot be contained by mathematics. Again, a, a simple history on who uh, Newton and Leibniz were, who they were as, 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 as people you'll find that they were not standard mathematicians, they were not standard scientists. They were alchemists. And there's a whole another level of understanding there that has never been revealed to the public. It's not necessarily forbidden informa information, but it certainly is hidden. Well, starting early today, it's around midnight, uh, just on like Saturday, the August 8th, I think it is, just finished Yaoi Vlogs, and it, they're bringing up a topic that that, that I thought was going to die out, but that it, it apparently hasn't. It's the new, it's a new, the new uh, fart panic for 2020. Every so, every, every so often, people get on these te uh, trends and kicks and so on and so forth, Without necessarily understanding what the whole issue is, they haven't they haven't done any of the background research. And this is, imagine your kid, and this this is the hypocrisy of adults. Imagine your kid coming home, sitting down watching TV and writing a report on whatever whatever they have a report by watching TV, and only choosing the stuff they've heard around the neighborhood. Or from their friends. That's their only source they're taking from. What type of grade <laughs> would you expect that kid to get? But this is exactly what happens with this great fart panic. This is what's happened with the environment and this whole CO2 thing. Uh, it, it happens with the essential oil that it's happening now with TikTok. People have no clue what they're talking about. What they're doing is they're simply listening to what everybody else is saying, not doing the necessary background research to see what is actually going on, and then making their own pronouncements because, well, they're on the internet uh, <laughs> as to what's what. And they say, well, TikTok has to go. Oh, well, are you sure? Why? Because TikTok's a bad app. Well, what happens on TikTok? And they don't, they don't really know what happens. They don't know how it happens. And they don't know if there's other apps out there who do the, that does the exact same thing. And I can tell you that there are. As a matter of fact, the latest to get the move on to the TikTok bandwagon is Facebook through, um, uh, uh, through, um, through Instagram. They've now created, created their own TikTok. 
IGTV went away and TikTok came in. Same music, same rap music. And the thing is, that the people that, that, that they're objecting to in terms of what how girls are dancing, it's always it's on Instagram. You can find... Go on Instagram. Type in cheerleading as a, as a search. It's a cheerleaders. And take a look at what's going on. Look at the dancers. Look, go, do a search on dancing and see what they're saying or, or what they're showing. Same thing. Same music. And it's not Chinese music. It's not Chinese music. It's American music. It's what everyone's called rap. And it's all this... Uh, well, for, for, it, 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 because it's not real. It's not necessarily black itself, but it, it's it's this uh, this whole attitude that everybody is ghetto. Everyone, everyone lives in a hood. Not everyone does live in a. Not everyone does live in a hood. It just you know, there are certain people who have certain backgrounds because they live in the conditions that are not of their own choosing. They were simply born into that condition, so they adapt to the conditions that they were born into. If you're not born into those conditions, then you can you basically fake it. Mostly, a large chunk of these 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 people who are on uh, TV and these celebrities and stuff like that, and the we'll call them the the, the 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 Insta celebrities, they didn't have a bad background. They, this is this was an image that was created in order to sell records, in order to sell their music, and so they're selling a product. And what you're seeing is a sale. The sales pitch. And it's not Chinese. And the thing is, is that there's a lot more reasons why the diseases come from China and from that Asian sphere than than, than, than simply, oh, it's the Chinese doing this. There's a lot more to it than that. But no one will sit down and do the basic research. I mean, this is what... I, we, all the, all the hospitals now, and this is where the whole thing with this the Great Fart Panic. The Great Fart Panic was, was, was produced by epidemiologists. Who are the epidemiologists? They are less, expen less expensive to have by a hospital than an immunologist. An immunologist is a fully qualified specialist dealing with infectious diseases. An epidemiologist is a data scientist. They do, they, they're a number cruncher. They work on models. They don't work in reality. So these model makers, these computers, these people who live within the simulation, and this is what the environmental, the the uh, international uh, panel on climate change, they're basing their stuff on, on on a computer model. It's not reality. It's a simulation they're reacting to. The same thing with the Great Fart Panic. The Great Fart Panic was created by a computer simulation. It wasn't real. It was it, it was a it was, if you want to call it, a data storm. But they didn't ask where the data came from and how it, how it came about. In other words, they didn't ask for where the, where the information came from. They simply, this is the stuff they heard around, and well, there you go. Here's a report. <laughs> where you now have the great fart panic of 2020. Everything has to be locked down. You have to do social distancing. You have to wear masks, and you don't, in some of, them, in some of the cases, you don't have to wear a mask, but you do have to make a mask here, and, and nobody knows. Why? Because there's no reality behind it. And this is the same thing with TikTok. Most people are doing the exact same thing. They don't know what's going on. They don't even, they're not even bothering to do any of the, the research necessary to say, okay, here's where the songs are, here's where, the, where it's bad, and here's where it's not. They're simply taking the blanket assumption that what they're seeing in the news, the news does the same thing too, they don't get into any depth of anything like that. They fake it and stuff like that, but there's no real depth there. And then they make their, their assumptions. That's it. This is what, you know, if your kid did this in school and came back with an F on their paper because, wow, you know, <laughs> who do you have in your bibliography? My friend next door, there's some guy on the internet, and <laughs> they'll get an F on it. They'll, 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 they'll fla fail it because they don't have any sources. But it's th this, this is what's standard for all adults. And the kids will do the exact same thing that they see the adults doing because they're growing within that environment. And this is why the deep state can be successful because 
nobody really knows what's going on, and no one wants, no one puts the effort into really finding out what's going on. It's, oh, I heard this, and my friend is doing that there, and somebody on the internet I saw over there is doing this, and so I'm going to make the statement that it's time for, uh, what's it called, TikTok to go. And TikTok had been there for a while. It was Musical.ly. And then it became TikTok. It will go away again for a bit, and it will come back as something else. <laughs> People don't, don't learn. And they don't care to learn. Time to end the vlog. It is 6.30 in the morning. Um, oh. I should know this, but I don't. It slipped my mind. August 8th. Yeah, we're August 8th today. And for some reason, I thought earlier that it was August 9th, but it's not. It's August 8th. You think time gets past you when you have things to do that take you off your schedule in terms of um, interrupting your sleep. Uh, so you, you instead of getting a straight eight hours, it's broken up into segments. Because every once in a while, every well, let's say every three four hours, something wakes you up and you you have to go do something. There's there's something that has to be done. And what happens is start screwing with your uh, with your sense of what time it is and what day it is. And needless to say, uh, uh, around four four thirty, I was going to end the vlog here at that time, but uh, I did some gaming. The gaming took a little longer. Well, the gaming typically takes about twenty minutes. This session and the session before lasted, uh, and as Laura's mobile, lasted 45 minutes to an hour. So by the time I finished, then I got myself something to eat, tried to decide what I wanted to eat, uh, and I ended up watching what I was eating. I watched two vlogs. I watched, um, uh, Eight Passengers, and now I just watched, uh, Briley Ann. And both excellent videos. Uh, it, seems, it seems to me that uh, Eight Passengers uh, and the Leroy's uh, both went to the same uh, whitewater rapids to to uh, to go uh, whitewater rafting. I don't know if they met each other there, or, or, or it seems that they were separate there separately. So because they didn't they didn't sort of show each other in the videos. So a lot of times. If they're there together, they show each other in the videos. You can sort of see one side or the other. But in this ca th this case, they didn't do that. The other video, the other channel that I've gone by now and I've added to my list is uh, from the It's Our Life. It's basically used to be the richest life, the rich life, because the, the last name is Rich. And the daughter, Capri, just started her own YouTube channel. And she's doing a pretty good job. I was surprised that, the, that she was able, and this is all done on her own, she's able to hold a good degree of coherence in terms of how, we, how she sets up uh, her her vlog. And it's a very, it's very well done, uh, considering that she's still, you know, see, I, don't, I don't consider kids to be that young, really, but, but, you know, she's probably in the tween, she's in the, tw she's definitely in the tween category. Uh, Briley Ann is in the tween category, more towards the uh, older end, uh, where uh, Capri is in the tween category, more towards uh, the uh, younger end. And she she holds her presence on the camera very well. So it's uh, definitely going by as much as she produces, I'll go by. And uh, the, 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 sometimes people produce, and sometimes people don't produce. It, it, it just really depends uh, on, I guess, the perspective of the person, how they're feeling that day, uh, whether when they can turn the camera on and off, turn the camera on, they can remember what to say, and and it's always hard not to, fu to fumble over your words, to speak clearly, to enunciate, 
these are things that have to be practiced. They do fall off every now and again. I don't edit my videos to cut out the bad points. I make mistakes, and that's what I do is I make mistakes. And there goes the sound system. Anyways, uh, and there are, they did, they did, this, in this case here, this is where, where good, it's a good idea to um, look at different points of view. Where a number of channels were leaving uh, TikTok because they found it to be, not to be of their liking. Uh, Cappy Rich uh, likes TikTok and would be sad to see it go. Uh, so, but the thing is, she doesn't do anything bad. She doesn't do anything wrong. Uh, how you use an app, including the music you choose, is up to you. So it, has, it doesn't say anything about the app in terms of the people who are doing bad things on the app. It just says there are bad people doing things on that app. The same thing is not true for Facebook. The same thing is true uh, for YouTube. The same thing is true for uh, Instagram. It really depends on, and the same thing is true for your Twitter. It really depends on how you use the app that determines whether it's bad or good. So if you don't do anything bad, and you keep yourself in a good in a, in a good neighborhood, so to speak, then you'll be all right. But the problem is, is that uh, if you start wandering off into other neighborhoods that aren't so good, then you're gonna find pr you're gonna find trouble. But here, it doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not. No refund.